Hello people, this is Bear from Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at US tech stocks. As usual, we're going to take a look at the top 7 in the NASDAQ, so Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA, and Google. Uh, now, before we get started, I want to take a look with you at the NASDAQ. As usual, if you want to take a look at a larger term count on the NASDAQ, I will link you to the video, which will pop up on, on the top right of your screen as I'm talking as well as uh, if you want to check out uh, how good or bad I am at uh, this, you can just, oh god, trading view is awful at this, they always move my waves. Um, all I'm saying is you can uh, go check my previous videos on US tech stocks. Now, that being said, another thing I want to say, if you have any questions guys, feel free to let me know in the comments, uh, or you can join the Discord which is absolutely free, and the link is down below if you want to chat about Wave. Um, and um, and such and uh, yeah if you have any questions or you know you, you don't agree with the account just please try to be as clear as possible um, I appreciate all of you watching and commenting uh, I truly do uh, but you know saying like oh I think wave 4 is finished uh, and uh, we're now in wave 5 and uh, you know not mentioning you know in a video I cover different things so not mentioning the instrument um, you're talking about or the type of wave, you know, it could be this wave four, this wave four, uh, you know, it could, could have been a higher degree wave four you're talking about, you know, you get what I'm saying. Uh, but again, I truly appreciate uh, all of you commenting as well as, as watching, um, as I am the sponsor of uh, my channel. Uh, how so? Well, uh, I just uh, do videos um, and I appreciate you supporting. But I think this has been already a couple of minutes of me ranting, I uh, apologize. Uh, so. As you can see here, at least you probably got to take a look at my NASA account. This is my preferred account. Is this minor way for in place? I have no clue. As I always say, if I knew the future, I wouldn't be here. However, however, what we can do is measure the length of way three. Way three was just about a bit over 1.618 times the length of wave one which is pretty good, right? This is like a textbook um, LA wave, um, wave three. Now, what about wave four? Where, well, wave four many times um, could be as long as wave two. That's one pretty decent relationship. Uh, let me zoom in closer. We found support at equality, right? I don't know if you ever, you know, you might be newer to Elliot um, or to in general, I don't know if you ever notice, you know, uh, Ali says corrections of the same degree will tend towards equality in time or magnitude. As you can see here, I'm calling this wave 4 to be the same degree as this wave 2. We found support at equality. Is that a coincidence? Well, it could be, uh, but it could also be that, you know, we found buyers here. Uh, could we have found buyers because people were looking at this? Uh, possible. Uh, was it solely because of that? Absolutely not. Um, obviously, most of these, you know, this is an index, uh, so it, it's all about stocks within the index, which we're going to take a look at in just a second. Um, and, you know, it's all algos, mainly algos trading this um, based on, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's computers trading based on algos. Now, that being said, uh, what I like about this potential wave four, it's sideways. It's starting to move sideways, whereas this wave two was sharp, so we have alternation, so that's perfect. However, however, uh, let's take a quick look at the uh, futures. So we're doing so by looking at the CFDs. Um, and so obviously this market is open nearly 24 seven. And as you can see, obviously this would be your wave one. Sorry about that. I don't usually label CFDs. I only look at the cash market. Three wave move into four. Could this be wave one, two? Well, so the market opens in just a bit less than an hour, right? As uh, of the recording. And um, could this be one, two up? Yes. Could this be um, one, two up? Yes. Could uh, we move sideways? Yes. <laughs> could we crash? Yes, that's also possible. However, I you know, I base this as um, highly unlikely uh, based on the three wave nature of this initial move to the downside, which where did that happen from? 
w where do we start to move lower? Just a random number? Mm, I don't think so. That's our dear friend 20,000, right? If you've been following the channel for a long time, you knew that several months ago, you can fact check me on that, I did say, I, I think we're, we were about at uh, 18,000, so around here, I said, look, 18,000, very respectable number, but something big, I'd expect it to happen at 20,000. You can, you can fact check me on that. Boom. Uh, but yeah, um, that being said, I think it's about time we we'll go on to the um, stocks. Um, as usual, I'll try to be quick. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just only focus on the, if you want to take a look at the long-term counts, I will link you to the video, uh, which will pop up as usual on top, on the top right of the screen. Now, Apple, getting started, as you can see, a one, two. Um, now we know, uh, I mean, you may know, you may not know, um, if you didn't, you may know now, uh, Warren Buffett sold a very uh, large amount of his Apple, I think half of it. Uh, of his Apple position, uh, which is uh, also a large amount of Apple shares. Um, so Simon was bullish, uh, sorry, was bearish. If you've been following me, I bought more shares around here, around 205. Why? Well, because number one, we're trading above 2200, sorry, 200, we're trading about 200. And number two, my wave count, 1212. Now you can call me crazy, a 1212. But remember, while um, the other stocks we're going to take a look at today, NVIDIA, uh, Meta, uh, what else, Google, while they were going higher, Apple was consolidating. That's why I expect now Apple to, um, let's say, overtake them. And uh, as one thing you're going to notice today, most of the strength, I mean, a good part, a good chunk of the strength in the NASDAQ comes from Apple. No, it doesn't come from NVIDIA, it doesn't come from Meta, it doesn't come from Google, it comes from Apple. Apple is the one that has recovered the most well, within the stocks we're going to take a look at today. So as you can see here, uh, can we have wave five in place? Uh, I would genuinely look for uh, higher uh, prices. It looks like we could have had a one, two, uh, maybe one, two, sideways, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. I would generally look for further upside. However, 230 is very important. Uh, because after 230, you take off and the next large uh, important number is uh, 25, so 250. Uh, so 230 is pretty important. So, uh, you know, I would expect one more high and then maybe something larger. Um, and then at 220, I would like to see support at 220. Uh, but that's a problem for the future. So overall, I'd expect further upside. Um, now, again, moving as I'm talking too much, moving on to the next one, which is Microsoft. Um... So this is a bit tricky. Um, it doesn't look too impulsive, to be honest. Um, I would, um, I would stay. I mean, I would stick to this count. So maybe now some sort of a something wave B, upside in, in C of B, and then downside. That's what I would look for for Microsoft as a long term. Um, it looks like a bit different for, uh, to Apple and others. Uh, but yeah, uh, I am not as bullish uh, on Microsoft. And uh, this looks to me like a three wave move, A, B, C. Uh, you could probably count this as some sort of a one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Um, maybe something like this even, short five. I wouldn't discount this possibility, you know. And then here, some sort of wave A. Uh, God only knows what could happen in wave B. You could get sideways. Uh, wave B can be many things. Um, I would, I can see it being sideways. I, I would look for another pump, um, perhaps around 430, um, and then downside. Now, next one is Amazon, which is also proving me wrong. Um, Let's take a look at it because I was a bit bullish. Uh, I, you know, I could see a potential wave two in place there. Uh, this is definitely not four. I don't like that as wave four. Um, if we have it as wave one and two, then we one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I gotta be honest. I 
I'd rather have it as an A, B, and C. So similar to Amazon, sorry, to um, Microsoft. Um, so here, one, two, three, four, five. And uh, yes, here with A, something for B. God only knows what that with this with B could be. And here, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Because I also believe this with C could be 1 plus 1A times the length of width of A. Let's check that out. Oh no, equality. Equality is well respected when it comes to 3 with move. So many times, if you find res uh, resistance in this case, um, at a three of move, sorry, at equality, many, uh, it, it could be a sign it's, it's a three of move, it's not um, a wave three. So it was a wave C, not a wave three. Um, that's one way to try to take um, an educated guess. But overall, yeah, uh, I would look for that. This would also be a flat. Yeah, I mean, this waves, it's Solter in views doing it. Dream view if you're watching me, you want to sponsor me and fix this. I would highly appreciate it. Um, hope you guys uh, are, don't have the same problem, but I think you would if you're using Dream View. Now, Meta. Meta is a bit different. Uh, why? Because uh, you can see it yourself, maybe. Um, this looks like with A, B, and C. So similar in terms of the other two. So all but Apple. Once again, as you can see here, that's why I was saying that Apple is the leading one within the, um, the seven stocks. As you can see, three, four. Um, could uh, wave five be here? Yes. Do I think it's here? No. Does the market care what I think? No. Um, but, you know, taking a, a grand look, taking a look at the grand scheme of things, uh, this uh, makes more sense than calling a major top in place. And again, we could see this down and then at that point up. Uh, what is important here, if you starting to understand what I'm, what I think, the largest important number, and uh, you can see it because we've been bouncing back and forth around it, uh, is 500, right? Five is a fib number, um, and obviously five numbers also a psychological number, right? Uh, you, you don't care, you don't really care, you know, um, oh, Meta hit uh, $621, whereas if you th if you say, well, Meta just hit $500, um, then you may care. Um, but yeah, that's overall count. Tesla, Tesla's a, it's an interesting one. Um, at this point, I have reason to believe we could either be still so similar to the others in some sort of a wave B and then C of E of four to then boom, push higher or else, um, I mean, the only decent alternate is wave B here, possible. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, as, as long as it's correcting, it's hard to know what, what it's going to be because it's correcting. Let's see here, it would be a uh, two, one, two, three, four, five. It's not an easy one, is it? How would you count that three waves down? Is it three or five? I think it's three. It must be three. Um, A, B, five, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess you can squeeze five waves in there like that. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. All right. And wave four be either completer or in developing. You could also do like the others, so something like this. That's also possible. Uh, but once again, as long as we stay within the triangle, and, uh, you know, as you can see, the triangle has been developing around 200. How surprising. Look at this. If I draw the line at 200, which is not popping, so let me go in the four hour. 
So if I draw the line of 400, at uh, 200, which again, it's not popping. Okay, there you go. Look, boom, 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 boom. And here too. So you can see I'm not lying, uh, but yeah. That being said, what's next? NVIDIA and then Google. So NVIDIA, the most toxic stock in at the moment. I'm being bullish. Um, a bit of a similar count. This looks more like the NASDAQ or Apple, I should say, than uh, the others. I'm not sure we are in wave A or in wave uh, 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 C. There's a case we could be into wave C like this. There's a case we can be in wave A and we are we, we need further developments. Now, what would I look for? 120, 120 needs to, if 120 turns into support, it becomes interesting. Uh, but overall, you need something like this, you know. Oh, let's say you have a, a, a bottom in place here with two. You need this. And at that point, you can start to look for longs. Um, and remember when I said about, uh, I think it was Apple at 2.30? So I said 30. 30 is important. Look at 130. Right? 30 is important. Why? Because 30 is between the whole number, 100. You got 30, and then the big jump is into 50. So within this range between the whole number and, th and 30, uh, you got the range. That happens to most of them, most of the stocks or cryptos, whatever. Work with the numbers. Um, that's what I've been taught. Um, and that's what I, I'm trying to show you works. Um, but yeah, that's basically NVIDIA. Wave two here, I don't know. Wave two here, I don't know. Of so far one of the two, I don't really see many other alternates. Uh, could this be wave B of four? Yes. Um, you could squeeze it. Do I think it is? No. Do I give any good prob probability it is wave B? Not really. Um, but um, the market uh, can prove me wrong, might prove me wrong. We'll see. Uh, Google. Um, or Meta, oh sorry, or Alphabet, call it whatever you like. I've never been really bullish. Uh, Google is facing uh, some issues, um, legal issues at the moment, as well as uh, with their products. I've seen the launch of a new AI in the um, Google smartphone was not successful, and they're facing some monopoly issues. Um, so they're not doing um, so well from that point of view, and you can see that in the chart. This is definitely corrective. We could get further upside, uh, just like we could have, you know, wave B could be here, but look, you know, looking at this, this looks more corrective than impulsive. Um, hence how we look, you know, ABC into A. You know, wave Bs are always tricky. Uh, ideally look for one more push higher. Uh, ideally we fail at 180. I would like to see 180 um, as a failure and then down. So that was it. As you can see, the main takeaways is uh, where I see bullishness, Apple and Nvidia. Um, what was it? Meta could turn bullish soon, sooner than the others. Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, they're kind of the same boat. They're developing, uh, the, but they could face for the downside. And Google looks like the one that could face the most downside among the, the, um, the seven. As you can see, too, I um, mean, I could easily see it getting back to 130 right here. At that point, for long term, it would uh, generally be an interesting buy, which obviously none of this is, was, or will um, be financial advice, just me sharing ideas. Uh, but that that's what it looks like now. That being said, uh, let's see other mark. Okay, a bit down. Um, yeah, we could uh, we could generally see this. To be fair, and maybe maybe a push higher. Who knows? Um, if you if you're trading this, don't listen to me. But uh, what I would look for is uh, nineteen thousand five hundred. I would work with the five hundred. Why? Well, I just draw a line on top of five hundred. Look at this. Right, uh, work with 500. If you get this, an upside, 
um, and you're looking for longs, look at volume, look at whatever things. You know, when it, uh, when when I look for trades, I look at many different things, which uh, will be hard to cover in a video. They would take hours. Uh, but uh, yeah, that just a little uh, not advice, but uh, what I would some of the things I would do. That being said, guys, uh, as I said, any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to join the Discord, it's absolutely free. The link is down below. And uh, thanks for watching. I would highly appreciate if you, if you subscribe as well as if you leave a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.